In this video, you will learn how to add a table control to an application and how to bind the content to the table. The first step is to create a new application. To do so, click on Web Content, then on New, select the folder, and name the folder JSON Data. Go to the JSON Data folder and create a new file. The new file should be called material.json. In the material.json file we just created, paste the sample JSON data. Go to index.html and create a new JSON model. To do so, create an instance of the model source in JSON format for our SAP UI5 core model. Load data is a function that allows the data in the .json file to be loaded into the newly created model. Provide the path of the data as shown here. The data will be loaded using this path. Make the model available globally by using the getCore function as shown. The setModel is a JavaScript function that we are using here to add our model to the core application. Go to File, View 1. In the Create Content section, create a page control with ID OPage and with the same attributes as provided by the default options. Return to the OPage. These changes we just did are necessary in order to put the content in a readable format. Now, create a new table control with the ID OTable. It is an SAP.m control from the .m library. Table control is exclusively used for data binding. Now, let's add columns to the table control we just declared. In the columns property of that table, specify the columns control. Add a header to each column using the new keyword. Add labels to the header of the columns we have created. The text property of the label enables us to add what the header of the columns should display. In this case, we are calling the heading Material Number. The label holds the text Material Number. Add more columns to the table, and for each column, provide a label with unique text. We are creating three columns with Material Number, Material Name, and Created On as headings. Now we need to create column list items for holding the data during runtime. The column list item needs an ID, so let's provide col items as its ID. Add cells to the column list item using the cell property. Provide the text property for the created cells. Add the corresponding cells to the respective columns we just created. Because we have three columns, we are adding three cells to the respective columns. Bind aggregation is a property we can use to join a column and column items. In this case, we are using a bind aggregation statement to join a column and column items. Here we are providing the model path as well, in order to let the application know which items have to be bound to the table with ID O table. In the material.json file, we can see the data fields as key value pairs. Now, map the respective data fields from material.json file data in the column list items. Provide the key values from this data as text in the cells so that the cells can hold the values of the keys from JSON data. In the content section of the page, add the table to the page. Go to index.html. Click on Run and check the output. We can see the table with the headings we created, and columns have the respective data we bound to them.